All right, hooking up your manifold gauges. Now we have the uh, the service valve caps already off. You can see the Schrader valve right here, as we saw earlier. And then there's the uh, little depressor there that pushes the Schrader valve down. And the little rubber seal in there is what keeps the refrigerant from escaping, and you'll have to replace that uh, rubber seal when it starts to get worn. So the best way to put your gauges on is making sure that the system is off. And you hook it up to your low side. Finger tight. You don't need any any tools. Just good and tight by finger. And then you're going to hook up your high side gauges. It's pretty interesting. When you put them on, um, not much refrigerant escapes and it's a pretty simple process. Now, to take the um, gauges off, it's really a good idea to have the system off and not running because the pressure is even higher in the system when it is running. I'm going to demonstrate here on the low side how I hold my hands. The way you don't want to hold your hand is down in this manner where if the refrigerant comes out it blows back up this way and gets on your fingers and your hands. You want to try and keep your fingers in this position and your hands out of the way. Low side's not too bad because the pressure's low and that's pretty quick and easy getting it off. Now, high side, it's a different story. Need to make sure those fingers are out of the way on the sides of the connection point. And then you're going to want to start taking it off and getting it off of there quick. And there you go. Now, if my hand had been in this direction or back here like this, I'd have got liquid refrigerant on my fingers and ended up with a refrigerant burn. So make, make sure the system is off when you hook up your gauges and, and remove them and make sure that your hand is out of the way from that blowback because you can't really help it when, it when you're taking the gauges off.